imagine that the water is flowing downwards in the river. At any point of time, can the water start flowing upwards? No, right? What is maintaining the direction of the water's motion? Something similar we observe in electric circuits. Suppose we have a bulb and a battery and we want to light the bulb. How do we do that? We connect the copper wires to the battery and the bulb. The copper wires are similar to that of the river beds. It allows the current to flow from the source to all the elements in the circuit. But how does the current know that it is supposed to flow from the battery to the bulb and not otherwise? We have seen so many examples. It seems like in all these examples, there's something driving the current in a circuit. That driving agent is called as electric field. But how do I know in what this electric field exists and at what it does not? To answer this, we have to understand a quantity called as electric potential. In this course, we'll learn what is electric potential energy and how it can be derived from the electrostatic force. Then we'll learn about electric potential and some numericals based on electric potential due to various charge configurations. And finally, we'll learn how to relate the electric potential with the electric field. I'm Rohan Bedi. Let's start learning with you derived.